My name is Haley Dehart, and I am a genomics research scientist with Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory, and I am here in Greenland on the National Geographic Endurance. With APL, we are currently working on projects related to environmental DNA or eDNA. And what we are interested in looking at is taking water samples and sequencing and analyzing all of the DNA that's found in the water that we collect and seeing if we can detect certain organisms like marine mammals, for example. Our process begins with collecting water samples and we will filter them. We extract DNA from the filters that we've collected. So these are just the inlet and outlet hoses. And then we will process them and we will get them onto a small sequencer that's able to be used in an offline environment. And then from there, once we've sequenced it, we can actually run it through our bespoke analysis pipeline and get a general picture about all the organisms that we found within the samples that we've collected. Environmental DNA holds a lot of really interesting promise for research. Our ultimate goal is to be able to sequence something and say if something has been there recently or not, even without having seen it then we can add essentially another tool to understanding marine ecology and marine community composition. And at the very least, collecting the samples out here is invaluable to our work. We don't know what marine environments are going to do as they're subjected to climate change, but it's possible that species may not be around this area forever. So we wanna capture as much of that genomic and organismal diversity as we can. What we end up with is a classification in the form of this chronograph, and it essentially will show us how many reads were assigned and to what taxonomic level. So the deeper you get, the further out you come on this pie chart. So the endurance and Lindblad overall has been critical to this type of work, especially because it's often very difficult to get to places like this. A lot of marine mammal diversity exists in the polar regions, and so having access to these ships that are regularly going to really remote places and hopping on board and grabbing some samples where we can is everything. So we got another sample from the shore side over here. This is probably gonna be our last sample of today, and we will take this back to the lab. For me personally, I've never been this far north and to be able to have the opportunity to come out here and do work that I'm incredibly passionate about has made my career. <laughs>